the infrastructure is there. There's a steel frame, one by one, uh, box frame all the way around. We can attach all kinds of things to that. Hardware cloth, siding, nest boxes. Uh, we're going to put a floor in it. Uh, it looks like a lot of work, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And, and you know what? <laughs> Chickens are coming. What are you working on? I'm working on another box. It seems like all I do is make boxes. Boxes? What's that this box feel for? like I'm making it prettier just in case it becomes my box. <laughs> you might end up in the chicken coop. Yeah. We had all of this leftover wood and I was able to plane it down. So it looks really, really crazy pretty, but it was free. And uh, You made it look pretty be... though. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So this will be uh, the area we roost the chickens at night, and this will be their deep litter spot. So they're going to be on this end of the trailer. Um, if we ever need to expand it, we can always expand it. But for now, we think this will be the end that they will live at uh, for their nighttime. It'll be their nighttime hotel. Yes, it will. And a and, swanky uh, hotel it'll be. Yeah. But you keep telling me they're going to poop in this box. They are. I'm afraid to tell you. They're going to poop all over it. So they will sure. have no regard for your beauty and masterpiece work of art here. No, this is strictly for me. <laughs> and it's looking good. Yeah, you got the you. linoleum down there, so it's easy to clean up. Yeah. Hey friends, we are almost done with this chicken coop build. Um, we are now at the level of the roof and uh, you can see I have some reclaimed foam sheets over there. I'll have a foam insulated roof. I'm sandwiching that between uh, my little one by four uh, rafters and the metal roof. Long screws will kind of go in, sandwich it, kind of firm that whole thing up. <laughs> or at least that's the hope. So here we are. Final stages, 
I mean, we got some little things, like we got some big gaping holes here, but final stages of the big, big coop, and uh, we are gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done soon. I know this goes a whole lot quicker for you than it does for me. I've been working about four or five weeks on this, and it's getting close, and those chickens are getting big, and Tilly's posse's about ready to move into the rambling roost. Hey. <laughs> It'll be a good day. Where the core hat and finish the back. Oh, 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 no, 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 I did not. So, see, I use metal. <gasps> Ooh, so, you, so I you like have the, like the mixture of the metal yeah, and the sun. I love it. And the reclaimed cedar. And then that stands open like there. Nice. And you got your. That's good. You got your watermelon yeah. brooder. And you got your girl sign in the back that you made. Oh, that's cute. I love it. The girls. Yeah. I love it, love it, love it. Those chicks are ready. They're flying They're all over the place. They have their bigger home. Yeah. At least, yeah. And then I'll put the premier one net, net around this to keep it uh, yeah. protected as well. We're not free range them, but still to protect them. Right. Even though they should be protected. It's another level. Yeah, no, nobody's gonna scare them. Yeah. Nice. It's been a long, hard project, and uh, of course, I don't get to work on it every day. I just get a little hour here, half an hour here, so it's kind of drug on for about a month or so. Hey, it's been a great COVID project, right? Uh, so we're getting close. The chickens are already here. They're in their brooder, and uh, we're gonna probably need to upgrade and move part of that brooder into this. Uh, protected space as we kind of hard them off get them get them in their uh, normal climate so we're looking forward to that uh, we're looking forward to um, uh, that the final use of this space and and uh, we'll just see how the chickens and the goose like it uh, Matilda's been uh, already uh, uh, getting used to her new flock uh, it's kind of like Tilly's posse <laughs> So uh, we're looking forward to seeing how she might uh, enjoy this space as well. Um, hey, thank you for being a part of Wild Coffee Homestead. Thank you for being a subscriber if you are. If you haven't subscribed, you may consider. Uh, we're just kind of a, a couple who have uh, learned to, to grow our own food and, and eat a lot of the things we cook out of the garden. Um, we're, we're hoping to be as self-sufficient as possible, self-sustaining as possible. We don't know if we'll get there 100%, but we think every little bit counts, every little bit helps. Um, so thank you for coming on this journey with us. We sure do appreciate you. Hey, if you have any comments, if you, if you have any suggestions for our coop, if you um, uh, would like to, to chime in, we always look forward to your comments and your questions. And, and uh, of course, we don't explain everything. So, hey, don't be afraid to ask. There's no bad questions, no bad comments. Hey, look forward to seeing you soon. Have a blessed, blessed day.
What do you think of your new home? Is it bigger? Oh, there comes two golden ones. The golden ones are the buff Orbitons. Goldies. Here's the Goldies. Goldie Hans. <laughs> All Tilly's interested in eating because she needs something to grow on. Yeah. Tilly, your posse's coming in. Your posse's coming in. 